is it mandatory to wear kufi or cap or covering the head for men during the prayer? No, it is neither mandatory nor is it a sunnah. Rather, it undergoes people customs. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدْ خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ Take your adornment. Wear the best of what you have whenever you go into the masajid. And masajid are Allah's houses, are the purest places on earth. When you're going to offer the prayer, where, what would you like to meet your most favorite person with? If you have a meeting with your manager, with your employer, you're not going to wear a pair of shorts. You're not going to wear a torn shirt. You're not going to smell bad. So Allah says, خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَشْهِدْ If the people in Bangladesh, for instance, considers, excuse me, consider um, not wearing a kufi in the street is a shame, and it was common at some, in some parts of the world at some time, then it's not something befitting for you to enter the masjid without the kufi because you consider this is the perfect zina, the proper adab and the proper etiquette. Um, a few decades ago in Egypt, if anyone would walk in the street without wearing a head cover, he would be like a rebellious or he would be an evil person. So in this case, similarly, when you enter the masjid, you should not take the head cover or the whatever you're wearing over your head, the imama or the kufi, off. But why do we say it is neither a sunnah nor a fard? Because the Nabi وسلم, sometimes prayed without the head cover. And as you all know that during the ihram, we all wear, we all wear the ihram and we pray bareheaded. No one is allowed to wear any, anything over their heads. I'm talking about men, of course. The sister is asking about men. But we must cover the awra. So covering the head is not required in the prayer because that's not a part of the awra. But it is a part of the zina.